Welcome back. Well, here it is. The EVA pod from Mobius Models, the 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is 1 8 scale and it just arrived. Let's open it up and have a quick look at the box. And it, this is part number 2001-4. It's a series of kits from Mobius from 2001 A Space Odyssey. There's the back of the box. Showing us all the details with the kit here. Ten and a quarter inches high, eleven and a half inches wide, eleven and a half inch and a half inches deep. Ac screen accurate detailing, open rear hatch, posable manipulator arms, fully detailed interior and some chrome details like the headlights. You can pause these if you want to read them. And I pre-ordered mine copy from Monsters in Motion and very fast shipping. I think he got here in uh, record time so I could do this review for you all. Open up the box. First thing we see is the very large decal sheet and we'll look at that a little closer. And right on top of the box is a large booklet with uh, kit instructions. And we'll look at that in a little more detail also. Looks like um, a total of about 12 pages or so. Very nice there. And all the kit parts. Two different groupings of bags. Main body parts are the only parts that look like they're not bagged inside of here. So I'll take these out. We'll get a closer look. All right, first we have the parts that weren't in plastic, and these are the main body of the EVA pod. Look at the details on this. Look at the size of this thing, the immense size here. We're looking at at least almost 11 inches total, maybe around 10 inches it looks like here. And uh, wow, I'm just really impressed with this. It's very large. Interior wise, there's a lot of plastic here. Plastic feels like your standard uh, plastic. It's not uh, ABS type of plastic. It's regular polystyrene, it looks like. And uh, this is going to be an impressive kit to build, it looks like. Very nice. All right, let's look at the, the other side of this. And here's the other side. Very impressive once again. Very large. Molded in a very light gray plastic, I would say. Kind of an off-white or light gray. Uh, panel lighting looks really good for 1 8 scale. Very impressive. I've been waiting for this for a long time. It's kind of a big surprise when they announced that they were coming out with this kit. And I want to thank Monsters in Motion for getting this out there to me really fast. Very impressive. Very impressive. <clears throat> wow, just an immense size. Look, look, feels like I'm holding a basketball. All right, let's look at some of the smaller pieces next here. All right, next we have the, what looks like the doors and some of the interior panels and uh, what looks like some of the exterior rockets and such. Let's get a closer look. Very nice. The interior of that door. 
flip it over and looks like there's no interior on that. This is probably one piece here as this is the interior for that particular door right there that goes on the inside. Very nice details there. Wow. Interior panels, switches, gauges, buttons, padding, 1 8 scale. I believe there's 1 8 scale figures you can purchase that will go right inside of this. The next bag contained these parts here. These look like the end caps and some other panels. Let's look at them a little closer here. And we'll look at one end cap at a time. The detail there. And there's some interior detail also. Next one. Looks like a direct copy of the other one. Same thing. Same pieces and parts. And now we have these parts here. <clears throat> Looks like pieces of the ring and all that for securing the halves together. Very nice. And looks like we've got some more interior components. A little closer look at that. Looks like part of the seat. And the other one, turn it over. This would be the interior side there. Very nice. A little more light on the subject there. Good. And one more view. Nothing on the back side. All right, next we have a couple more interior parts. This could be like the back wall on the interior. I'm just guessing on a lot of this because I really haven't looked through the instructions yet. Lots of plastic here, folks. Lots of plastic. Again, could be the floor assembly. Alright, this one we get two sprues of the same parts. I'll take one away and we'll get a closer look at this. Looks like part of the articulating arms. Some of the thrusters. Next bag contained two sprue trees and looks like we've got two of the same type of parts. I'll take one away and we'll get a closer look. More of the arm pieces and thrusters. Very nice. Nice detail there. Turn them over. Here are the clear parts. We'll get a closer look at these. Very nice. Looks 
like for the lights. Very cool. Very nice. Flip it over so we can kind of see what these look like on the back side. Very cool. And the last very large sprue that's in there with the very light gray plastic are these parts here. Look like some more interior parts and some external parts with the articulating arms. We'll get a closer look. Very nice. I mean, for being small parts, these parts are quite large for being just small pieces. Alright, let's look at the chrome parts next. We get two trees with the chrome parts. I'm not going to take them out, but you can see these are just basically for the headlights. And that's all that they look like. We can look a little closer at it. Pretty nice chrome. Alright, here's a very large sheet of decals. They are well protected with a glossy piece of paper and a very large sheet of decals. Um, looks, like, uh, looks like they're printed in China, so can't tell you how the quality of them is, but they do look good. Very good from what I'm seeing. Some of the computer screens. Very nice. And it looks like there's a supplemental sheet also. I'll bring that out here in a second. And here's our little supplemental sheet. It looks like they uh, printed a whole bunch of these and cut them up to put inside. But a whole bunch of fine lettering and such. I'll see if I can take a picture and give you a closer view of these. And, and lastly we have the instruction sheet here. Instructions which is a booklet style. I'm zoomed in on it a little bit. Um, they do give us some important information about what to read first. Decal, decal application and painting your kit. We'll open this up and look at it. How, how the instructions look. Typical Mobius. Uh, a lot of information on the left that you want to read clear and through and then follow step by step your assembly and gluing and prep for all the parts and such. I'm not going to go through all the pages um, but uh, just to give you an idea The last page does give us some color, gives us the final assembly and some color. And if you look here, we have the interior colors on how to paint it. And uh, I believe the red lighting in, would have caused the red going on, but they do want you to paint some interior uh, red on the ceiling. And in the back side, we have the exterior colors going on. Art Director's Bob Plant 
and they consulted Adam Johnson for this. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy seeing this uh, quick open box review of the Mobius Models 2001 Space Odyssey EVA pod. The extravehicular activity pod. Kit number 2001-4. Please subscribe and if you want to receive notifications about my channel, please hit the bell. Happy modeling everybody. Now go build something.